Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. I'm Chris and today we will learn how to add an external library to an iOS app. There are many cases where we need to add an external library to our app. Today we will see an easy and flexible way. As a base for this video we will use the project we created on the previous tutorial. If you missed previous video you can find the project in the link below. In this tutorial we will use a circular progress bar that will be updated based on the seconds on our app. First we need to find the library we will use. In our case is UI circular progress ring and is on the GitHub as most of the libraries. There are many ways to add an external library. I prefer mostly Carthage since it provides great flexibility. As you can see this library is Carthage compatible. Now we need to create a file with name cart file. Inside this file we should add the library name as described in GitHub and save the file. Then order command Carthage update minus minus platform iOS. Have in mind that parameter platform is optional. In case we skip it, library will be built for iOS, macOS, watchOS, Apple TV OS, depending on library, which we do not need for this tutorial. When our library is fetched and built, we need to return to Xcode and navigate to targets in the general page. Finally, drag and drop .framework file from build folder to the embedded binaries area. At the prompt, just make sure option copy items if needed is selected. Now we are ready to use this library. Let's see an example. Just add a view and resize accordingly. Then set up subclass and module as described in the library instructions. Next, we must add the view IB outlet to the relevant view controller. Also, some settings on the view detailload function. And finally, set value of progress bar on every value change. That's it. Let's run the app on the simulator to check the result. Perfect. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please press like and consider subscribing. See you in the next video.